Good morning and welcome to this week's video. Um, apologies last week, missed the video. Um, just wasn't feeling great to be honest, wasn't feeling uh, one, quite myself and two, I just couldn't get inspiration. Um, so, so I thought oh, I'd have a week out. Um, had some things going on at home anyway, so got those things sorted. So uh, this week headed over to a local wood called a Shervage Wood near Holford. Um, come over just for a walk through the woods. Um, trees are just on the turn, but I think they're still a little bit away. There, there is a bit of colour here, but not nothing, not nothing dramatic. Um, it's still early at the moment, so it's still quite dull. Um, but also, uh, I did this walk before and found sort of several mushrooms and fungi and that through this sort of wood. So hoping to uh, maybe photograph a few of them as well this morning, as well as a few trees. So uh, let's crack on and see what we can find. Okay, so I lost the video and the audio for uh, the intro to this image, but it was the uh, silver birch with the moss on it, uh, backed by the colour of the ferns that drew me to this shot and the composition that I went for. So setting wise, um, because like I say, it is still quite quite dark to be honest um, but it's just the way the light was picking up here that sort of brought me to the shot um, I'm actually shooting at ISO 64 um, f 7.1 at 10 seconds um, there's absolutely no wind at all so I can get away with a 10 second exposure because these ferns and everything there's just absolutely no movement in there at all so I can get away with a 10 second exposure and still have a nice sharp image. Okay, let's get these shots and then walk on a bit deeper into the wood. just picking up on this scene um, sort of I'll talk you through sort of my thought let me just tilt the camera down slightly okay so I've got a fence leading down through here which I've obviously on the left hand side of the frame there's a leading line through and then we've got three um, three trees these those three there that are prominent in the in the picture there is a another one at the back there but that's sort of back out the way it's too not really showing up in the frame and then we've got this leading line down through um with a sort of few dead leaves on the floor from as the years gone on so um so i just thought i'd grab this shot whilst i whilst i see it I'm still shooting at actually the same exactly the same settings as the last shot 7.1 10 seconds ISO 64 um, although the sun has well the sun hasn't come up but although it's getting a lot brighter certainly out of the um, out of the wooded areas down here in the, in the wood it is still quite dark so I'm still shooting at 10 seconds um, there's a little bit of movement in these leaves up at the top here um, but I'm not too worried about them because the main focus of the image 
is this fence, these trees and this leading line down through. So a little bit of softness up at the top isn't gonna um, isn't gonna affect the image in my mind. So okay, let's get this one and um, see if we can find some mushrooms. I'm uh, not sure. So my eyes are everywhere this morning as I'm walking through this wood. Um, obviously the early morning light is changing everything by the second, really. I missed a shot just now, I saw a shot, tree lighting up nicely. Time I sorted myself out, got a position, got the focus, the light had gone. Um, and it wasn't a great shot, so I thought, well, I'm not gonna waste time waiting for it. But anyway, so I'm um, moving on obviously looking for tree compositions and also looking for some mushrooms and some um, toadstools fungi whatever you want to call it and see if we can get a few shots with them so keep your eyes peeled let's keep going okay so i've uh, found a few bit of fungi growing off the side of a Sort of a fallen dead tree here. Um, it's not the greatest, but I'm just going to use it to get some shots just in case we don't find any more. But um, so let me turn you around and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got this composition set up um, using that sort of light at the background to give me a bit of a background and everything. And then I'm using a, I've got a head torch here. I carry for when I'm out um, I'm just using the head torch just to light up from from different angles um, to just highlight those uh, the area that I want you to see because without it it all looks a bit dull put the light there and uh, just come away if you want a bit of a softer light and I can go in closer if I want it a bit more directional. Just using this simple four or five pound head torch. So let's get a few shots using these, a couple of different compositions, and then we'll see if we can find something a little bit more photogenic. Okay, these are far from the best examples I've seen. Um, but seen in the camera, it just uh, it just looks like it ought to have a, a fairy in it somewhere. Just uh, It just looks so um, mystical. Looks like it should have, a, should have a mystical fairy somewhere in the scene. That white almost looks like a bit of frost and a bit of snow it's not it's just a something just that's on happening around the bottom yeah it's looking like a quite a pleasant shot um shooting at iso 87.1 half a second and again just using the, just using this head torch just to light up the um the odd areas So I've now singled out this one on the side here. Um, I've set the um, 
set the light down underneath there, shining directly up underneath it so that it's um, picking up the detail and uh, just shining up through very slightly and showing a few of the ribs in the um, in the actual cap of the uh, cap of it itself so yeah another another shot that's quite uh, quite decent in the back of the camera get these edited and I'll put them up later have a look Okay, these uh, shots are proving to be a bit elusive to find this morning. Um, got a few that I've taken um, using the old torch to light up, so I'll put them up. Um, I'm gonna walk around and just see if I can find something with a little bit more color in it. Everything's a bit dull at the moment, and I wanna see if I can get something that I can get up through, get low and get a bit of detail through, through, the, um, through it, so I'm gonna, Walk. I've walked up over the top. I'm now going to drop down over into the, the greener area through the bottom of the woods here and walk back through there and uh, see what we can see down at that level. So uh, let's keep going, keep walking, stick with it. Yeah, quite like a look at this shot in the back of the camera. Um, I've literally got my camera just on the forest floor, straight down. And what has inspired me with this shot is all of the um, these old chestnut chestnut casings on the floor here. Uh, just reminding me of my childhood when we used to come go out into the woods, collect some chestnuts, and then take them home and roast them on the fire. So, um, like I say, I've set the camera right down low. Job to show you the composition because of the, because of the, the way the camera is. You can see it in the back of the camera. Uh, ISO 64, I've got it at F5, focused right on one of the open chestnut cases and looking up through nice bit of light in the leaves yeah looks quite pleasant so i'll get this shot up and then i'll put it up and let you have a look Okay, so nothing particular to get excited about this week. A um, few shots, uh, not not really what I was sort of hoping for, but but anyway, um, at the end of the day, you need to get out and um, try and find these shots. Um, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. That's the way it goes. So, um, but it's uh, as I always say, it's just. Just nice to be out getting some fresh air. And it's so peaceful here. Now I've got the main road sort of running through beside here, but to be honest, up in the wood, it's lovely and peaceful. Nobody around, nice early morning. So, okay, so if you like the channel, please hit that subscription button and a notification bell to keep up with all my latest content. And Give the video a thumbs up would be appreciated because it does help with the video and drop me a comment it's always great to get some feedback get some regular regular comments from some regular people and thank you to all of you for for your support so for now 
going to make my way back to the van and uh, go on home. So until next time, take it easy.